Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. So today I thought I would show you the stuff that I'm propagating for the shop. It's probably about ready, so I'm checking it today and to see if it has roots. And then if we have time, I'll show you the plants that I've got started downstairs. But if we don't have time, I'll show you those next week. So let's do it. Okay, this is my first propagation and it's a big one. Um, this is the Philodendron Prince of Orange beautiful plant. I took this off of my big one over there and it's doing good. I don't think I'm going to check this one yet. Okay, and then we'll start in this box right here. Um, I've got multiples of all these, but I'm just going to grab, well, let me show you what it looks like in the box. Lots of stuff in here and I've got um, five boxes, so I actually need to start some more stuff. You can see these fuzzy, little fuzzy air roots growing on the paradoxica. Coral marks philodendrons. They're doing good. This one's growing a couple new leaves on it. I'll just kind of pull it out and oh I don't want to pull all the sphagnum moss off but you can see there's some root there. There's some roots growing in there. I don't know if you can see them on the camera but yeah I would say Oh, there's a root. Can you see that right there? So, um, philodendrons root really well in sphagnum moss. Really well. So, I, I would say these ones are ready. Um, the Monstera Perus. They look, they're looking really good. Sometimes these ones, when I've propagated them, they kind of turn black. But they haven't done that in here. And... I, I think I've rooted them in um, soil before, and this time I did it in sphagnum moss, and so they seem to like that better. See, these ones are slow to root though. See, this one doesn't have any root. Oh, is that a root? No, no roots, no roots yet. Okay, these are the Ripsalis paradoxica. These ones are super cool. Um, you'll have to Google them so you can see. I'm gonna let these grow longer, obviously. Well, not obviously, but I'm going to. And the funny things are rooting on the top, but not down there. So <laughs> they're doing their own thing. I, I respect that. Um, okay, this one's actually growing some roots. Oh, geez, I'm not even showing you. It's growing some roots right there where this sphagnum moss is stuck to. So these ones probably have a little bit longer to go. Okay, these are the Zerio, the long word that starts with X, Danugii. Really cool. Silver dollar vine is another thing that they're called. These ones are doing good in the sphagnum moss as well, which, well, they're starting to get roots. They're not quite ready yet though, but I'm surprised these ones are doing so well because they're kind of a plant that likes it dry and it's pretty humid in there. Well, it's really humid in there and the sphagnum moss stays pretty moist. So, but they do like it. So there's those. And um, this is one that people have been excited about. This is the pink Thai lipstick plant, the Asianthus. Um, I put three cuttings in each, at least three cuttings in each little, oh yeah, look at the roots on those. So those are, those are ready. I would feel good about sending these out. They rooted very easily and these have the most beautiful, I love mine. It's one of my favorite plants. It's, look how the leaves are really round and thick and bubbly looking and it grows really long and then it gets really big pink, like pink, pink, like this color of pink um, flowers that are big for lipstick plant. They're big flowers. Okay, we've got some Sissus, Sissus rotunda flora. 
These are really cool. Look at the cute little leaf growing. These ones, I'm not gonna check the roots yet because I would like them to grow more leaves on them before I make them available. So, but um, we can still look though and see if we got any roots growing. I bet we do. These are pretty vigorous plants. Oh yeah, there's some roots growing on that one. We probably put these in the boxes. It's been, I'd say two weeks ago. Maybe three. I don't know. I lose track of time. I should have wrote the date down, but these, another one of my favorite plants. This is the um, Philodendron Brantianum. Oh, they're so pretty. I have a huge one that these all came from hanging up here. Oh, but they're so beautiful. Look at that leaf. It's just so pretty. Um, these ones, let's take a look and see how the roots are coming. This one's a little, oh, I'm surprised. It actually does have some fairly good sized roots growing on there. This is another kind of um, lipstick plant. It's called the gracilis. And this one is very like dainty and graceful. Gracilis, maybe that's where the name comes from. I don't know, but. It just hangs so prettily. Um, the leaves are kind of oblongish, ovalish, but they're a little pointy on the end. Oh, I love this one too. I love lipstick plants. They're fun and they're pretty easy to get to flower, which is fun. Okay, we definitely have roots happening. I don't know if you can see them on the camera because they're kind of see through but I think I'll let these ones grow a little bit longer in here. We've got some philodendron micans. In the past I have done these in soil and they took a long time. Um, here's the sphagnum moss. You can see their little roots are coming out but I'm going to hold off on these ones for just a little bit longer really just because we already have some in the shop right now so Aren't they pretty? And these come from my beautiful one in the house, my favorite plant of all time. Um, it's a really nice, really nice mother plant. Um, we've got some fishtail Hoya. See how those are doing. Um, the Hoya, I feel like, I don't know, some root better in certain mediums and others do better in others, but um, Oh, this one's doing okay. I don't know if you can see it, but it does have some roots forming in there. This is the Hoya Obscura. I really love this one because um, if you have it, if it gets enough light, it will turn pure red and it'll have the green veining on it. It's really pretty. Um, definitely one of my favorites. See how this one's doing. Oh, good. Look. Look at that nice root coming in there. Okay, this is a Hoya Comingiana. I like the leaves on this one. This one gets a real woody looking stem and then it has these leaves just growing opposite of each other all along the stem. Really a cute plant. Oh yeah, that one's rooting. Look at that. You see, oh, can you see those? There's little roots all over. These are the Hoya and Can Genoi. Genoi? This plant is really bugging me. Let me move it real quick. Um, these ones get really cool flowers. I haven't had mine flower yet, but it grows so fast. Like it's really long, really, really long. Not as long because I took all these cuttings from it, but it's still really long. Pretty sure it's got roots and I might not be able to, sh oh yeah, you can kind of see them in there. See, that's a root. It's starting to get roots right there. But the sphagnum moss is stuck to it and I don't want to pull them off because the roots don't like that. This is the Hoya Pinky. That, this is a good grower too. All these are good growers or else I wouldn't be propagating them. Not much, can you? It does have a little bit of root on it, but not much. So this one's not ready. 
this was in one of the other boxes, but this is the lipstick print, the twister. Oh, one of the pieces just fell out and it has no rootage on it. So these ones I put in later than the others. So yeah, I'm not seeing any roots on these yet. Got some fun stuff coming up here. We've got the um, fern cactus. This one's really cool. Uh, let's see if we've got any roots, starting to root. I don't think these ones are quite ready yet, but this is a cool one that you don't see all the time. Okay, this is the philodendron parvalobum. Looky there, it's got a new little leaf coming up. Oh, barely a little nub of a root coming. Okay, these are um, begonia lucerne. This is the most beautiful, well, this is a beautiful begonia. It grows really big, like the leaves get huge, like the size of my head. And um, look, it's got a new little baby leaf growing right there. Isn't that cute? But these are doing really well. The sphagnum, oh yeah, I can. Hopefully you can see too. See all those roots coming in? Woot woot! It's very satisfying seeing all them roots coming in. I think I'll let those ones go a little bit longer in there, but... This is a good one. If you like begonias, I highly recommend this one. This is a um, begonia Sophia. Begonia Sophia. It's a really pretty one. Um, this one's harder to propagate. It, it, I don't know, the leaves like kind of rot out every way that I've done it. But then when the new leaves come in, they look really good. So. I'll probably just wait for new leaves to come out on all these, but it definitely is working. Can you guys see the roots there? Here, let me hold my hand behind. Can I don't know if you can see them, but there are little roots coming out the bottom here. So um, this is a Hoya Huskiliana. Really cute. Look at this. Look how long this root is right here. Okay, so we've got one little rotted Hoya in here. I don't have it labeled, so I'm not sure what it is. But even though these leaves have rotted off of it, I'm just gonna leave it in here. This one's starting to rot too. But we'll see what happens, because I've noticed with Hoyas that sometimes they look like they're dead, but if you just leave them there to propagate for a long time, then they'll just start growing new leaves on them. Okay, this is the philodendron parvulobum. This one's beautiful because it gets really red on the back side. I've got it in this um, box right now so it doesn't get the light that it once got. So it does need light to do that. But did I tell you it was the philodendron subhastatum? It's not rooting yet. I think it just takes longer too for these bigger ones, you know, the little tender ones easy for them to shoot out roots but once they get older it's a little harder to do that I feel that okay this is the Hoya breviolata beautiful I showed you my breviolata that this came off of I think last week um, oh yeah definitely has roots in there can you see those I have these mystery Hoyas too like this one I'm not sure what this is um, if I had to guess, I would say it's one of the Hoya UT varieties, but I don't know the number and it's not rooting yet, but there will be like mystery Hoyas coming up for a, and I'll just put them on there for a lower price since I don't know what they are. Okay. So there's a bunch of mystery Hoyas in there and I'm not going to go through all of them because that would take a long time and I don't know what they are, which isn't as fun. Okay. These are Philad or, um, Hawaiian pathos. These, the leaves, they're a little different. Like sometimes people argue about if they're they're the same as a golden pothos or, but they're not, they're different. Um, they're, the leaves are more like ridgy. I, can you see that? And the leaves on them get huge. Plus it's more of a, I don't know, the variegation on them is different as well. This one's not very variegated yet, but it doesn't get much sun in there, so. And this came off of my Hawaiian Pothos. 
I've always um, rooted pothos in water, so this is my first time doing it in sphagnum moss. And it definitely has a root because all of the, the sphagnum moss is stuck to it here. Oh yeah, see it? Okay, this is a Monstera lecleriana. These ones get really big and as the leaves mature, they get fenestrations in them. Mine hasn't done it yet, but you can Google pictures of them and they are rather glorious. Um, that's Monstera lecleriana. Oh yeah, look at them roots. See that beauty right there? There's one poking out there. Um, this is a philodendron tahiti, which is a super cool plant. I love the leaf shape. Um, some people say the tahiti and the um, mayoi are the same thing, but I don't think they are because I have one of each and they're very, very different. So root yay okay so this one's doing good too these are okay well i've always called them pothos enjoy well they're syndapsis actually but then someone said no those look like something else which is a rarer one and i can't remember the name and i'm like yeah they could be that one too i know they're not pearls and jade but those three are very similar and I don't know, I've always felt like my pothos and joy is quite beautiful compared to ones that I've seen at the nursery and stuff. So, and these are all children of mine. I don't know. I'm going to call it pothos and joy for now. And I'll have to figure it out. And it's got roots coming on too. Right that ear? Yeah. Okay. So these ones are well on the way. Um, this is a philodendron Bob C. Love this one. This one you got to have a lot of room for because he's big and he grows big. He's got this beautiful new leaf that's coming on and look at the air roots that he's getting. Um, <laughs> this funny guy, he um, is just starting to sprout those roots down there. But like I said, these bigger ones, these older ones, it just takes longer. Um, this is a philodendron eximium. I don't hear about this one hardly ever. And I think it is so cute. Look, it's got a new little leaf coming in. I love, the leaves are really thick, really glossy. It's uh, more rigid, stiff, like firm. It doesn't really hang so much, but it grows. It does hang, but it's just different. It hangs because it chooses to hang and not because it flops, if that makes sense. So I guess it doesn't hang technically then. Oh, there's one of my hairs. <laughs> yeah, I've got one of my hairs on everything. Yeah, this one definitely has roots because the sphagnum moss is stuck to it, but I can't get to it without, but it is in there. So this one's doing great. And I have very limited amount of these, but isn't that pretty? Love it. That's the philodendron eximium. Um, these are philodendron silver stripes. I also think that my personal silver stripe is a lot prettier than ones that I normally see. And these all came from that mother plant. No root yet on this one. So I'm gonna take that to mean that the other ones aren't ready yet either, but isn't that pretty? Um, this is the philodendron or pothos global green. I you're not seeing the loveliness of the color on this one, but the leaves are quite fantastic. At least I think they are. And these are just little fellers, so I'm gonna let them grow more. But it's got a nice root on it. Okay, this is a philodendron narrow. Philodendron jungle boogie, whatever you want to call it. Um, you should probably call it by its scientific name, but I can't remember those. Defin oh yeah, definitely has roots because this whole ball is like stuck. See the, there's a root right there. This one's doing great. I'm pretty sure, well, I know this is a new leaf. 
And I'm pretty sure this is a new leaf since I put it in here. So yeah, this one will get really big and those leaves are pretty cool. Okay, and then this is the Philodendron, or the Monstera Silta Picana. Love this one. Look at the pretty leaves on that. See how this guy's doing? Oh yeah, he's definitely got roots because there was some tension when I was pulling him out. And the sphagnum isn't really wanting to come off of him. Okay, he definitely has roots. You see that one? And there's more in there. I'm not going to pull this all off because I hate to disrupt the little feller. Okay, this is a philodent or peperomia acuminata. This is the green variety. I love these. Um, I've tried to grow the uh, mac, what are they called? The peperomia maculata, which I love them. But I've killed every, I've done it three times, I think, and I've killed all of them. But these are quite similar. Maculosa, not maculata. These are very similar because they get the big, huge, thick leaves on them and they're easy. Oh yeah, I'm not even going to pull this one off, but do you see all those roots right there? He's doing great. Oh, I love this plant. I've actually got the, well, you saw it last week or whenever that was, but... I've got the Acuminata green and the Acuminata variegata together. Very pretty. So lastly, I'm showing you the Acuminata variegata because it's beautiful. Look at the variegation on that. So pretty. And this white leaf was on my plant for a really long time and it didn't die like the white leaves do on other plants. So I'm impressed. Um, let's take this guy out and see. Oh, he's got a little bit of rootage going on there. Can you see it? I don't know. Can you see that? Well, that's about all I've got propagating. I need to get some more propagations going. Um, but if you're, they'll be coming up on the Etsy shop, which is the plant hall on Etsy. And we also have a website, which is www.theplanthall.com. So check them out if you're interested and I'd say all of these will probably be on there within three weeks so and another note because people always ask I put new plants on on Fridays I think we've spent a long time doing that so I'll show you my plants downstairs next week but there is something and the experiments and the snails and all that stuff but I want to show you something new that happened this week it was kind of a happy little accident that I knew would happen probably if I went to a certain place and I did. Okay, I'll show you. So these are my new little chickies. Um, we have 11 of big ladies out there, but they're starting to get older. So they're probably gonna get to where they stop laying and like I said, I went to the hardware store, which I knew I shouldn't have, or the feed store, and I knew these little chickies would be there, and I knew I wouldn't have self-control, and I was right. And my husband doesn't help. <laughs> Most people like me, at least, like they have a husband who says, no, 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 you know, but no, my husband's like, oh, just get one of all of them. Yeah. Yeah, get that one too, you know? So I don't know if that's good or bad, but I sure love my husband. He's a good guy. <laughs> and we get a kick watching these. We come out and check them out and peek through the window because we can see them through the window right there. So we'll just come and look at them. But anyway, I'm going to try to hold them every day so that they're a little bit more friendly and than my other ones. My other ones are really friendly, but they don't like to be held. So let me tell you, I don't know which ones are which, mostly. I know, sorry, let me do it the other way. This little guy with his head in there, the yellow one, he's a buff or pinkton. And then this little guy right here is a lavender or pinkton. Um, those are both super friendly in my experience. And then we have a blue, a blue cuckoo moran. 
and three Cochin. Um, <coughs> I can't remember what colors I got, but there was a, a um, gold one and a partridge one, and then I don't know what the other one was. And then we also have a, oh, a blue Andalusian. So we got some different ones this time. And then this little guy down here, he's sure being reverent. What are you doing? Are you tired? I thought I'd just give you a real quick glance of what's happening down here. So next week, I don't know if you can compare compare because I'm sure they're going to grow a lot. Some of them I need to repot because like what one was I looking at yesterday? Like the roots are going insane. These guys, look at that. <laughs> look at that. It's crazy. So um, I had a, I thought I cut off all the buds on these. Um, this is a loofah gourd but um, they'll vine and take over the whole place. So I've been trying to keep them cut down. And um, these are some that I planted, like that's some lettuce that I planted to actually grow down here so we could eat it. I wanted to do a little test. And then we've got a cucumber that I'm doing the same thing. It flowers and there's no bees in here, but look, there's cucumbers growing. So, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens with those. And then this is my tomato plant. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I might end up planting it outside. I don't know. We'll see. Um, wouldn't it be cool to be able to grow all this stuff inside in the winter, though? So you could have fresh food all winter. That's what I was thinking. Anyway, so here's a quick glance of everything. And then I'll show you next week what all we got going on here. Oh, but I do have to show you, I'm pretty excited about these little bells of Ireland. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I'm really excited for those. Okay, but I'll be quiet now or I could go on and on. Hey guys, well thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Plan on. <laughs>